If you live in LA, or if you're just visiting LA, and you're wondering what's the best coffee shops in LA, this is the video for you. Every morning when I wake up. This is the first time I'm doing a vlog with the Canon 80D. So this is what this whole setup looks like. And I got a nice little hat for my camera because it's cold today and it needs to stay warm. We're about to go check out some of the best coffee shops near or on the beaches of Los Angeles. Introducing my friend. Hey guys, how's it going? What's your name? Rakeen. The first place we're going is this spot called Demitasi on Santa Monica. And we're gonna gradually head south and try out new cafes. A sweet latte of some sort, or a brewed coffee of some sort? A sweet latte, yeah, I'm leaning okay. towards that. Yeah. Okay, our five spice latte is probably our most popular right now. I was gonna go for that, I was gonna ask you for that. Yeah, yeah if you like, like kind of like chai spices. There you go, guys. Thank you. That's the five spice latte. Oh, yeah. looks good. Exactly, I was wondering, let's try that one. Yeah. So we have very dark faces, so it's very hard for both of us to find a spot that's like well lit enough so our faces are not completely in the shadows. So yeah. I made Rocky take off his hat because I couldn't see his face in the camera. Back to coffee. What do you think? Man, I really like this coffee. Why? It's not, um, it's not as thick as I expected. It's really light. And she added some oranges. I would say like the peel of oranges. I was not expecting to taste oranges. I can taste the spices more than I can taste the coffee. And they have this thing in there. And we both can't remember what it's called in English. It's called elachi in Bangla. So it's not an elachi. Okay, I was totally wrong about what this is. As some of you might know who've watched my previous videos in Guatemala, I didn't really start drinking coffee until six months ago. I do know that Starbucks coffee does taste a lot better than the K-Cup coffee machines that we have in our department. So I'm pretty much a coffee connoisseur now. We're also from a country where no one even drinks coffee. We just drink tea. Tea. Chai. Yeah. Oh, okay. So obviously we are the best authority out there for saying what's good coffee and what's bad coffee. Definitely. And this is a good coffee, my friend. Now I posted on Reddit seven days ago asking what the best coffee places by the beach are. And this was one of the spots that was suggested by a couple of people. So that's how we ended up coming here. No, this was pretty good, I'd say. This one, yeah. Uh, it was, how much was it? Like $5? Five bucks. It was $5 for a five spice latte, which is a little bit too pricey for me. I don't think I will ever get it again with the option of getting a... Starbucks coffee? Yeah, you can get like a chai tea latte. For how much is that? Four dollars or something like that? Yeah, four or five bucks. I guess that's like a dollar more, but yeah. I'm, I'm a cheapskate. The lady making the coffee was really nice though. Props to her for being very friendly. Okay, so if you ever get a lit that's too small for your cup, all you gotta do is turn it upside down, and voila, it fits. That's Coffee Connoisseur Tip 101. <laughs> right now and the piers right behind us over there and we're headed to Venice Beach to film inside the cafe, but we managed to find a table out here. Hopefully they're not gonna stop us from doing yeah, anything. Hopefully. I mean, there, there was no reason for them to stop on us. No, okay, to be fair, we were taking up a lot of space, and I was wearing a backpack, which was making it hard for them to go through. And when I was filming with this shit, Rakin pulled out his phone and we're like double teaming people with our cameras. It's called Earth Cafe. What'd you get? I got the Spanish latte. What does it taste like? Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like the message that they're trying to send. It seems like it's an organic coffee place. Interesting. Uh, what I want to say is 
say about this coffee is that I did not get enough sugar for this thing. <laughs> it's still a little bit bitter for me, but it tastes a lot like coffee bean. I'm sure there are coffee connoisseurs out there that will kill me for saying that. Appreciate it. Rakeen broke the golden rule and he got tea instead of coffee. Yeah, okay, we're talking about how I measured how much my camera weighs. It definitely weighs more than one kilogram, which is how much my Gorilla Pod is supposed to hold. But I really don't want to spend $60 to get a new Gorilla Pod. I should try the coffee. This is really good coffee. I never like my coffee really hot, which is why when I get coffee, I put enough milk into it to make it just warm and not hot. It tastes really good. I like this a lot better than um, Earth Cafe, for sure. This is actually our second day. Our battery died yesterday, <laughs> and we had to stop filming. And I was like, we have to come back, and we have to wear the same clothes, so it looks like it's the same day. But then we decided that we're not gonna lie to you guys. Well, he decided that. I decided. <laughs> you know, I like to be an honest person, yeah. so, unlike um, Nadir. Um, I was leaning that way, and he helped me just push over the edge and be completely honest about things. But we do have other clothes. Um, I do. I don't know if Rakim does, but... No, I just have one set of clothes that I wear every day. Yeah. That was the end of our coffee shop tour in Venice. You could honestly do this in a day. If I had to rank those three places that we went to, I'd say Intelligentsia is number one, Demitasi is number two, Earth Cafe is number three. We we're going to check out this place probably called Kauzen. I'm not sure yet what that's going to be like. What about yeah. your ratings? I'll what about go your for rankings? Intelligentsia? Intelligentsia Definitely. is number one. I would go for Art Cafe because they have the option for that lunch. Oh right? yeah, they have right? good food. And then, what's the third one? Demitasi. Demitasi, yeah. But okay. the thing about Demitasi, it's only coffee, right? It's only... Yeah, it's just a coffee place. Yeah. Um, if you're visiting LA especially, make sure you do that walk from Santa Monica to Venice. Venice. This is definitely my favorite part of LA. It's funny because I never ever come to Venice because it's a one hour, 20 minute bus ride from where I live. It's not even one bus. I have to take the bus, then take the train, then take another 40 minute bus to get here. But it's a really pretty place. It's some of the most interesting people you'll see in the world from what I've seen. It's Thank you for watching this video. This was me trying to figure out how to use my new DSLR camera and this new lens that I have. So hopefully this turns out well because I'm planning on using this a lot. If you like this kind of video, do let me know. I can do a lot more of these. This is a lot easier to do than a travel video. If you have any questions about any of the places we went to, let me know in the comments and maybe someone can answer them better than I can. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. I'll see you guys next week. What's your name? Rakeen. Yeah, so he's Rakeen, but when I can park my he turns into Rakeen <laughs> in Los Angeles. Hey. What if we just went to these places and said that the coffee's shit? আমার <laughs> 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 Yeah, top tour in Venice. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ať se vám hlavně